well, my name is Nick Matthews, uh, and I'm a part of uh, a group called the Champions of the Sonoverse, and we will be performing at that art fair um, in Cape Town, South Africa, uh, in February of 2015. Um, I'm very excited to be a performing artist as a part of this collective because I believe that that art fair is actually attempting to engage with its audience in a more transmedia or multimedia perspective. I find that quite exciting. But it's not just necessarily a, uh, here's some art, check it out. You know, it's it's experiential, and I think that in terms of uh, modern uh, art consumers, if I may so call them that, that this is uh, is a new a new technique where you know you are able to see much more than just um, an exhibition. It's an exhibition of performance, it's an exhibition of installation, it's an exhibition of, of concept and I think that what it brings to the party in terms of a contemporary um, uh, African uh, art uh, consumer, if I may say so, is, is that it has that, that novelty of being able to say, listen here, this is a cool event rather than it being a static installation and that induces an active audience engagement rather than a passive one. Um, and I think that that is something that is, is very much on trend in terms of the current, the current way that, uh, that consumers um, throughout media you know, in this world today are, are trying to uh, engage with, with the creativity. So the, the exhibition that, that we're going to be um, putting up is a it's a really big piece. It's uh, part of an album that, that I did with a, a colleague of mine. Um, the band was called Gazelle and Invisible, and the album was called The Rise and Fall of an Empire. And the concept of the album basically deals with the life cycle of, of society. The, the album itself uh, has, has uh, 11 songs, um, which, which in themselves uh, create a montage uh, of dis discussing this life cycle from birth to development to um, sort of you know explosions or changes within that and that eventually leads to, to a climax um, and through the fall of this empire then uh, the growth and the renewal of, of new life comes into existence and, and that obviously is a continuous uh, life cycle so the installation itself is actually um, it's actually a full circle and the, the one end of the, 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 the montage t attaches to the other. Each individual element relating to one of the songs on the album. And so the, 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 the way that it's been um, sort of exhibited and, and, and put together um, through a, a very amazing artist, uh, Studio Elastic, uh, who we worked with in Vienna, um, he basically conceptualized the art piece inspired by the music that we had created. And, um, it's the first time that it's actually going to be exhibited, so for me it's quite an exciting event. Well, it's very exciting because that art fair, is, this is the first art fair of that art fair. And uh, to my understanding, uh, that art fair is trying to not only engage with an African audience, but also an international one or global one. Hopefully a universal one if we find some other world, worldly people out there. I'm very excited about the future of that art party. I think that uh, it's got a huge scope in terms of its potential um, throughout Africa and, 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 and the world itself. Um, I hope that it has the best of luck in the way that it is trying to engage with its audience uh, and that we have a, a very successful future with that. I would like to acknowledge that art party for giving me an opportunity to, to be able to exhibit something that took a very long time, the construct of a lot of people and a lot of ideas to create something which I believe is profound um, from my perspective and I hope that um, the audience that is able to, to, to come to that art party in some way will, will, will come out of it going that was, that was fucking amazing um, that this is something that engages with its audience on a, on a much more core level rather than just going hey this is something to check out which I feel like modern artists in this world today just kind of expect, you know, they have a sense of entitlement to a certain degree that because they're making something that is artistic that people should be, you know, um, sort of engaging with it and I think that might be a sort of very uh, misconstrued kind of perception that, that, that many artists have in this world today. I really hope that that art fair has the ability to achieve those kind of outcomes or those 
those needs that I see having to be fulfilled in our society.